What is going on, New York Giant fans? As usual, I will say, uh, mind the wind, mind any airplanes that you may hear flying over me, but back at MetLife Stadium slash Quest Diagnostics Training Center, and day four of training camp is in the books. This is my third practice going to. I did not go to Fridays. Um, but with that being said, I thought this was the most fun practice that I've seen uh, yet. I mean, I went to one training camp practice in 2019, a few in 2022, and 2023. I, as I said, I thought this was the most fun. A lot of different explosive plays. Um, it wasn't really a defensive day, except for maybe a few plays. But we're going to get into it here. If you guys are new from Twitter, because I, 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 I know I got a lot of live tweeting and likes and all that other stuff from different people uh if you guys are new definitely hit the subscribe button and do all the good stuff as we're inching closer to 1.4k with that being said let's get right into it let's start with the offense in terms of lineup changes on the offensive line there definitely were some tyree phillips was actually the left guard one today so that shows how much they favor him uh you know obviously rotating in there with josh azudu and ben bredesen so he might have a leg up in this swing tackle swing guard role uh, John Michael Schmitz was the first team center as usual. Josh Azudu got some burn at left guard too. Uh, he also got some burn at left tackle too as well. And uh, Ben Bredesen got the uh, main reps at center for the second team and the uh, right guard reps for the second team as well. So, And also Jack Anderson was the third team center. With Devery Hamilton at left tackle, Corey Cunningham at left guard. Wyatt Davis, a guy who's trying to make the roster, who was a former draft pick of the Vikings. He actually played at 13 right tackle today, so it shows that they're moving guys all over the place. Now, with that being said, let's go into the offensive takeaways. Darren Waller was an absolute beast again. Um, he was absolutely uncoverable. Short passes, long passes. Uh, I have a few clips uh, to show at the end of this video. One of them is of Darren Waller making a fantastic grab along the sideline. But again, he was uncoverable. Deontay Banks couldn't cover him. He actually made a miss in the open field. Dane Belton couldn't cover him. All the guys they were putting on him. Again, Darren Waller has been the talk of the town in terms of this training camp. Jalen Hyatt is progressing and progressing very nicely. One of the plays of the day was a long ball from Tyrod Taylor to Jalen Hyatt, which would have been a touchdown, Dane Belton in coverage. So he had a little bit of an off day, uh, meaning Dane Belton. Cole Beasley and uh, Paris Campbell stayed silent, but when they were in one-on-ones, they were burning up corners, and I'll talk about that when we get more to the defensive side of the football. Darius Slayton also had a deep play touchdown. Deontay Banks was in coverage. Once again, apology, apologies for the win. But uh, Darius Slayton, deep play from, t from Daniel Jones, which would have been a touchdown. Deontay Banks in coverage, so that's nice to see. Daniel Jones was very sharp other than a last-minute interception. I think this guy had an incredible practice getting most of the reps with the second team, a little bit with the first team. Lawrence Cager, who I predicted, if you guys haven't already go watch the Ross Bowl video, I predicted him as the tight end three because, you know, you essentially, if Darren Waller gets hurt, you place him in there and he's like, you know, a mini Darren Waller. Obviously, the talent level is not the same, but he is a pass-catching tight end converted from wide receiver, and he had a very good day today. He had a very good day. Um, not much for the other tight ends. Bellinger obviously had some good reps, but he's an immediate make it for the roster. And then uh, one more thing for the offense before we get to the defense. Sterling Shepard, he is back from PUP, as we all predicted that he would come off really sometime soon because he's because he looked very good in the spring. Uh, he worked in with the ones and twos. He was limited. Also, Jamison Crowder is back from the non-football injury list. He didn't really do much of anything. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. Also, Ryan Jones, who is a East Carolina tight end, he did not practice today due to an injury. I believe it was a knee injury. Defensive side of the football, um, Jihad Ward was off to the side today, did not do much of anything. They say it's not a long-term injury in terms of him. Also, Raheem Nunez Roches, uh, he was actually out on the field today compared to the last few days where he was suffering, well, he, I wouldn't say suffering, but he was rehabbing from the car accident, mostly staying to the side. Today, he was in a red non-contact jersey, which obviously is signs of progress in terms of coming off, you know, the, uh, the accident and everything. Hope all is well there. But defensively, in terms of lineup changes, Jason Pinnock was with the ones at deep safety and second safety overall, and he made a very nice pick off Daniel Jones. 
Uh, we'll talk about the pass rush in a minute, but Dexter Lawrence, this was towards the end of practice, and I have it on video. Dexter Lawrence was coming in on a rush. Would have been a sack. DJ throws it away. Pass intended for what looked to be Darren Waller. It was intercepted by Jason Pinnock with one hand. So that tells you the Giants have really good depth at the safety position. Um, Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau got would-be sacks. Aziz Ojolari was slowly finding his way into the backfield, which obviously says a lot of good things about this New York Giants pass rush. Ryder Anderson, D-line three question mark. Obviously, Rochez is hurt. You have uh, Ashawn Robinson, who's hurt. Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence, the main key cogs in that defensive line towards the end of practice. Ryder Anderson, well, guess what? He was in with Dexter Lawrence towards the end. So that tells you when they are giving these guys a breather, could it be Ryder Anderson that comes in instead of a guy like DJ Davidson, who, to be fair, is uh, off to the side injured right now, or a guy like Kobe Smith, Jordan Riley. So there are some notes there. Ashawn Robinson, I thought he was running well off to the side. Obviously, he's on PUP, uh, coming off of an injury where he ended the season with the Rams. Obviously, I think it was a torn bicep or something along those lines. However, with that being said, he was running well uh, in a cone drill that he was doing. So that's obviously very encouraging for the uh, New York Giants. If you are a guy who... You know, obviously loves this draft class. Trey Hawkins, he was absolutely phenomenal today. Locked down Jalen Hyatt in one rep and also had a nice pass deflection um, on a pass that was intended for Lawrence Cager from Tyrod Taylor. So there's something to note with that. Trey Hawkins has had a really nice camp, really hasn't gotten beat a ton. And if he has, it's not been explosive plays. Darnay Holmes had a nice PBU, a.k.a. pass deflection. Uh, on Khalil Pimpleton pass from Tyra Taylor, but the bad part is he was struggling mightily in one-on-ones. Against Cole Beasley, he gave up a touchdown. Against Paris Campbell, he gave up two touchdowns. So not really a great day for him if you're looking at that slot corner battle, which features Aaron Robinson, who's on PUP, Cordell Flott, who was drafted last year, and Zion Gilbert, who's also in contestion for that spot as well. So with that being said, guys, that's going to be all from me. Uh, definitely look at the videos that I have posted on Twitter. They're going to be in this video as well. Like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or your drops. I will be back out here on Tuesday. That's when the pads come on. That's also the day of the MLB trade deadline. Monday, I won't be back out here. I'm um, like, you know what? I could just save a little bit of money and I'll wait till Tuesday to come back out here when the pads are on. Getting exciting. We're only a few days away from our first preseason game. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Sack D-Law.